Guys, uh, just a quick one for a Christmas period. Uh, I know some of you guys will be donating stuff, and I've actually donated for a project I'm helping at the minute. Um, just be aware, some of these things that go on in the Philippines, um, especially with some of the expats, they're pocketing a percentage, if not more than their fair share. Um, but then again, that's the charity game. Um, it's why I don't donate to anything unless I'm directly involved with it. Um, just You just have to go through the way people cost things and go, oh, administration charges, da 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 and eat all the money up. Um, but I do know there's some expats making a living off this, um, which is why I find it particularly vulgar because they should be able to afford to live in the Philippines themselves without living off the back of others. Well, sorry, even worse than that, living off the charity of others on as well as on the back of people that are less fortunate. But then you have the other thing, which is multiple donations. For example, let's just take a Christmas present, right? So you donate so much money for this present. Now, you don't know who's got this present and why they've got it, but you get video footage saying, we've gifted this, we've gifted that. Now, I've seen this done several times in the Philippines. Donations have been collected from different groups. So, for example, a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? A class group of one of the universities will connect their own fund. Overseas seamen connect their funds, local donations and expats. And then what they do is they'll say to each different group that they've donated towards X. What's actually happened is one item's been bought, could be a building, could be a school, could be whatever. But what's actually happened is it's been paid four times. The other three amounts of money have basically just been stolen. And it's very common. I mean, even when you look at fiestas and how people go around and ask for donations for the fiestas, a lot of the money vanishes. The easiest way to see this is normally after the event, you'll see the Baron guys, the people that organized it, will go on a shopping spree or whatever. It's, it's not hidden, but it's very obvious that money goes astray and more than half of the money can disappear sometimes. Um, and I'm just saying this because I know some people are out there collecting donations right now. They're very likely to be unregistered as a charity, NGO, which is a non-government organization or anything else. They don't have to have any accounting or anything else, but they're actually operating illegally. And as I've said before, I've done stuff myself with... Uh, Typhoon Haiyan, for example, where we donated a fair chunk of cash ourselves and a few of our friends donated some money. Um, but I didn't make, I mean, I not only didn't I make any money out of it, I spent a fair bit of money. Then I bought everyone dinner on the way back as well. So I was well out of pocket. <laughs> but some of these guys are doing it the other way around. They're making a living off it. And I'd be very wary of these types of people. Um... It's not, it's not what you see, you know. It, there's a lot of them about doing this because it started appearing probably, probably about twelve months ago. Some of these online beggars, and it seems to have expanded out. In, it's not good. It's not good. You, if you go to somewhere like the Philippines, then you should be able to sustain yourself. If you want to do a charity organization, you shouldn't really need anybody else's money. You know, unless you're actually setting up an organization, which is a full-flung um, operation. But very few of those, there isn't people taking wages. I'll tell you that now. For me, charity begins with taking nothing. I'm talking about I donate time, donate money. I do not turn around and go, hey, guys, I'm going to set up this organization. I'm going to charge a monthly fee for administration and everything else. And that means I can sit on my backside in the Philippines for free which is what many of these guys are doing. Um, up to you, but personally, I find it completely vulgar. Personally, they should actually be donating money or doing stuff with their own money. Um, they shouldn't be asking anybody for money at all. Um, I mean, like I said, I mean, the project I'm doing, um, I think it's next week, it's going ahead. We've donated some money. 
I'm not telling you how much I've donated. I'm not telling you what I'm doing with it because that's my personal thing. But the whole point is you have to understand that these guys are doing it to get more money out of people. And unless you can actually see 100% where everything goes, I wouldn't believe them. I've just seen it so often in the Philippines, it's very hard to believe anything that these people do, but also if you look at other stuff they got up to in the past, I wouldn't give them anything. Thanks for watching.